Hello everyone, quick video here on BIM Words processing and importation of data into BIM Words suite of softwares. Um, anytime you install BIM Words softwares, you have AutoClean, you have AutoPatch, you have the License Manager, you have Nav EQ, you have the Traject Edit. Now, BIM Words is a suite of software, as I said, and Nav EQ is used for data acquisition. AutoClean is used for cleaning the data and exporting it in different formats. And AutoPatch is used for patch testing. So today I would like to demonstrate to you how to import data in AutoPatch and AutoClean. AutoPatch is used for patch testing. AutoClean is used for cleaning data. So when we click on AutoClean, I mean AutoPatch, we have um, a window like this. We can see the previous projects that I have been doing here but you can quickly click here on new and once you click on new you can go to add maybe that was a little bit too fast i'll take it over again so once we choose like new project and we have a new project you can come here from recent project you can open a setup from a recent project or something like that now i will come here add what will I be adding? Different file formats. So you can see the different multi beam formats that you can load in AutoPatch. And today I will be loading some files from HyPack. So HyPack files have this .hsx extension. So I will come uh, to where I will try to browse to where my files are found. So I will go to disk. So here are the files. So I'm going to load one two three four five six files so i'll choose all of those files ipad files then i will say next now you have to decide whether to load an svp from an svp file or you can load from the internal svp records meaning that during acquisition you made a an svp cast and you loaded it during acquisition I know that during acquisition, these files contain SVP, without which I have to load the SVP here. So I will say next. Now it's going to create me a new project with that name and it's going to keep it somewhere. So I will say, um, uh, I can go say select a new project file. So I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call it the name. I'll just call it demo. And I will save. Then I will say finish. So this is how to import data in AutoClean. I've just imported six files from HyPack um, data format into AutoClean. And you can see that there is a ball side misalignment of role along there. And there is some pitch, some pitch and some your problem. So basically, this is how you import data into um, AutoPatch software. Now, quickly, let us see the same thing in AutoClean software. So I'll go to AutoClean. So the same thing, it opens up. I have to choose, these are my previous projects. I can choose new. Once I choose new, I have to give it a name. Let me say demo then i have to choose where to save that then i have to choose a grid size of the grid i want to see after i load the data let me just say one meter and then i have to choose the geodetic parameters for the moment i will just go ahead and say that i don't want to use that because i know i acquired these files in high pack and during the acquisition i input the geodetic parameters so i can say not use then i'll go to next So on the next button, we see that um, we can import result data, means it can be XYZ point, it can be process files from IPAC, for example, HS2 is a process file from any other software that has process information, it can be from whatever. So just to show you, result, result files can be, if I say add files, you can have different formats of result files. So these are the different types of files you can add as result, XYZ, generic sensor, uh, points and uh, some uh, traditional formats like those from KML. 
the data that you were acquiring online what you were seeing on the grid you can import it now here if that's what you want to process in our case we want to process raw data that means that we want to process raw ranges that were measured during uh, the acquisition process so i will come to add and the type the file format i want to add is file from ipack for example hsx i'll click there then i will browse to my data which is here the same six lines import then i will say next The next page we have to we have to put some parameters we have to set up the vessel so this will be a configuration file a vessel configuration file so we can create this file from one of the raw data raw data files or we can you know we can create it here it says create from the first file or you can choose the file you want to create from so if i say i want to create it from the first file it's going to um, automatically extract the parameters and keep it on a, on a certain file, X, XML file. You can give it a name if you like. Save. Save the file. You can view the configuration file by clicking that button. So now you come on a page where you can see all the configuration of the various equipments that you had during the acquisition, which is this. So during this data import, there is an important part in setting up the survey configuration as you can see at the top of the page here. This survey configuration page constitute the geodetic parameters of your project, the sound velocity profile, how you are computing. This, excuse me, this is a computation here how you are merging information from your multi-beam or the different equipments that are mounted on your boat in order to produce soundings. There is also the vessel. So in the survey configuration, you are setting up your vessel, you are setting up the various equipment that on, are on your vessel. So if you open the here, you will see that we have a high pack navigation equipment. We have high pack navigation again, but it's just showing you like uh, the different um, uh, the different systems that are, are presently active here. So in this high pack navigation, uh, just wait a bit, need to regulate something. Sorry for that, I had a mix up. So in this high pack navigation, we have different things that are set up on that high pack navigation because this information has been read out from the HSX, the HS, HSX files. So you have also the high pack height, and then you have the multi beam echo sounder, which is here. You can see that if we come to the vessel, we can add offsets that are here in this particular setup where we were using a Nobit multi beam. Everything was output at one position, and here it is written like the COG. So that we have only one offset, but in case you want to add more offsets, then you have to click on add offsets for example if you click here you see that i'm going to add an offset but that's not what i want to do so i'll just remove it then another important part is if we come back here during the import of the data itself we did not choose any geodetic system because it was already on the file so you can see that it is already here the sound velocity that came from the imported file is this one so we can change it by importing a new sound velocity here or a group of sound velocity profiles so if you come to computation then you have to decide which is your positioning system which is the heading system which is the uh, attitude system and you have to choose how you are computing the vertical um, the height so here you have different options if you want to use only rtk positions rtk position and, and uh, heave or you want to use just the heave sensor which is the best i've noticed for high pack for high pack files so that you can choose high pack tight that you recorded during the online acquisition using your rtk
so briefly maybe i'll come back on this page uh the setup page for a particular video because it's a little bit detailed so once you are happy with the setup which you extracted from the file you can click ok then the next thing will be to go to the next button so you click uh, let me mention something about trajectory data if you have an sbet you can load it here if you have an sbet you can load it here you can browse to the sbet you can now choose the format of the sbet if it is uh, uh the, the 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 default sbet files or is from sbg you can choose it or it's just a csv you can choose that but we don't have any sbet because we were on rtk for this survey and you can also edit the trajectories if you want so uh, that is something else there are videos about that now i will go to next and then uh these settings you can just leave them as they are or you can do some particular things because here you can see for example i have ticked here include rejected points in result file for example if you had some flags that rejected some points you can include them you can import them or you can decide to just reject them completely from these settings so if i say finish so i'll have the files loading in here at the end it tells me it has added such and such number of points from six files in 26 seconds and it tells you the projection and then if you want to see something about it you can say open and you will read some information about that and here are our files that we've loaded so this short video concludes import of data into photoclean and autopatch